Hey guys, Dan Hood, Big DH 2000 here again. Uh, just finished up another one in the shop. Thought you guys would like to see it. It's it's a fun one. It's a core I got from Pepper Mac, Carl, and it's called Branchy, I believe. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not a slingshot shape encyclopedia, but anyway, here it is. I did my standard night and day. Corian, blue on one side, white on the other. Still got one or two spots, like right here. I got to sand out, uh, but for the most part, it's done. It's polished, and as you can see, it's got Carl's standard um, wave tube connection. I've got 2040s on it right now. I was slinging uh, three eighths down range pretty well uh, they kept their height and kept their trajectory pretty straight so I'm um, full butter for those who don't understand I've also got a really let me pull this got a really thin leather on there and I've used cuffs once again these are 2040 cuffs on 2040 um, they work pretty well. Um, for the most part, it's done. But like I said, I got one or two spots on the aluminum. I need to go back and sand just a little bit. Uh, the holes are just for show. Uh, here, I left them there. Uh, there's internal um, epoxy uh, super glue pins to hold it in place. And But what I've found is that Corian doesn't really separate from aluminum too much because they both seem to have the same coefficient of expansion in temperature so when the aluminum heats up the corion's also heating up to the point where the two don't separate because they seem to expand the same even though super glue doesn't really prevent uh super glue pretty well prevents that anyway just something fun i finished still a little sanding to do